What's up everybody, we're back with another Swift snippet. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how to animate a UI image. Now I'm not talking about how to move it around the screen or, or animate it bigger or smaller. I'm talking about animating multiple images and we've all seen this before in like a like button or if we wanna have a little more fun, you can animate a 2D character. And it's subtle animations like these that'll really liven up your UI. I'm talking about the heart button, not necessarily Ryu. Anyway, let's dive in. So as always, I'm gonna walk you through my starter project real quick. It's pretty simple. I just have two image views here, uh, constraint, and then two buttons that will animate the images once we press the button. Now the key to animating these images is you have to have a lot of images to animate through. So over here you see I have a folder called sprites over here on the left. Uh, if you look, I have heart and Ryu. So this heart animation is actually 24 images and we'll click on them and you can kind of see what's happening. So I can just you know scroll down through them and you can see the animation kind of in slow motion uh, as it goes. Um, so that's exactly what we're doing in the imagery. We're just cycling through these images, kind of just like one of those old school, like you're flipping through pages and you have little stick figures animating. Uh, that's exactly what's going on here. And you can see the Ryu one. And there you go. So that's all that we're doing in the image view. Now let's talk about the code to actually make that happen. All right, so back in my view controller, again, all I have here is I have my two outlets from the image views, from the heart image view and the Ryu image view. And then I have the IB actions for when you tap the like button and then when you tap... Oh! All right, so like I mentioned, we're gonna be cycling through a set of images. So it kind of makes sense. We're gonna need an array of those images. So let's go ahead and create those real quick. So var heart images, and that is gonna be an array of type UI image. And then for now, it's just gonna equal the empty array. And then same thing for the Ryu images, array of UI image, and it equals an empty array for now. Okay, so now we have our empty arrays. The first function we're gonna write is how to fill these arrays with images. So we're gonna write a helper function to take care of that for us. So we'll just call it a uh, func create image array. Uh, it's gonna take in a total, which is gonna be the total number of images. And you'll see why in a second. We're, we're basically making this a generic function so we can take in uh, any animation we want. If you notice the Ryu animation only had about seven images while the heart one had 24. This is why we're passing in a total so we can customize it uh, how we need to. And then image prefix is going to be the name uh, of the UI image. And you'll, you'll see what I mean here in a second. So that is going to be a string. And this function is going to return an array of UI images. Oh, and I called this wrong. I just called this images instead of UI image. Uh, just the, the hazards of explaining something while you're typing. Sometimes you type what you say and not what you meant. Um, so Xcode's yelling at us because we're not returning anything yet. We're not returning the array that we said we're going to. Uh, so let's fix that. So. With any function like this where you're returning an array, you have to build that array. So we'll just go ahead and create that. So var image array. Again, this is an array of UI image and it's empty. And then we'll go ahead and return uh, that image array and Xcode should stop yelling at us. And we'll make room for the actual code here. Okay, so now that we have our image array and we're returning it, let's actually build that array. And what we wanna put into the array is all these images. So up here in the left, if I go to my heart images again, we wanna put all 24 of these heart images uh, into the array. So you can see, this is also key how you name them. See how I have heart-0, heart-1, heart-2. You need to name them in order, and here's why. So if I go back to my view controller, uh, let me write out this for loop and I'll explain it. Let's go ahead and walk through lines 22 to 27 and what's going on here. So in this for loop, we're, we're getting a variable called image count. So remember I had the files named heart-0, heart-1, heart-2, heart-3. That's what we're keeping track of here. So basically for each item uh, in zero to less than total, remember up here total, we're passing in the total number of images we have. Cause like I said, the, the heart animation has 24 images, the Ryu animation only has seven. So that's what we're passing in the total number of images we have. So then for each one, we're just gonna create the image name and the image name is gonna be image prefix. So in the heart example, the image prefix we're gonna pass in is we're gonna type in heart and then the image count uh, is just gonna iterate through this for loop and keep appending. So it'll go zero, one, two, three, four, all the way up to our total. So this is gonna give us image names of basically heart zero through heart 23, I believe was the number. Uh, now that we've got our image name, we can go ahead and create a variable called image. So we're creating an image uh, and it is UI image named and then the image name we just pulled up. And uh, you notice I usually preach against force unwrapping here with this exclamation point. Uh, in this case, we can it's okay because we have these images hard coded into our app. You know, if we were downloading these images from the internet, we would definitely wanna handle this. But because these images are built into our app, uh, we know they're gonna be there. And then finally on line 26, we just append that image to the array. So this is gonna give us the array of all those images. Uh, so let's go ahead and call this in view did load. So heart uh, images equals create array. This is what we're calling our function. You see we get the autocomplete. And the total for the hearts is 23. 
I'm sorry, 24, because it starts at zero. Uh, and then the image prefix, uh, like I said, is just heart. And again, like I said, it's just going to create all these images, heart dash, you know, zero through 23. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the Ryu images. Uh, go ahead and call our create array uh, function. The image total, I know the Ryu one has seven, and then the prefix for Ryu is Ryu. And this right here is why it's important you name all the images the same thing with just a number at the end that you can iterate up. So now that we have an array of all of our images, we just need to go ahead and write the function that's gonna actually animate through those images. So let's do that. Let me do some cleanup here real quick to make some room. Go ahead and write it right here. So we're just gonna call this animate. And this is gonna take in an image view because that's what we're gonna animate. Uh, UI image view. And then it is gonna take in an array of images because it needs to know what to animate. And there's gonna be an array of UI uh, image. So now we just need to set a few properties on our image view that we're gonna pass in here on line 34. Uh, and again, we're gonna be passing in the heart image view and the Ryu image view. So it's just image view uh, dot animation images. And this is the array of images it needs to animate through. So this is just the image, uh, it's actually called this images. I just called it image, that's confusing because image would insinuate that it's only one image. Images would insinuate that it's an array. So. The animation images we want to animate through are the images we pass through. And again, what we're going to pass through is the array that we created here, uh, the heart images and the Ryu images. All right, the next line is the image view dot animation duration. And that's going to, we're just going to equal one. That is for the entire animation, not each frame. So basically that heart animation, this is going to flip through all 24 of those images in one second. And same thing for the Ryu image. It's gonna flip through all seven of those images in one second. Um, so if you really wanted a slower animation, you can change this, or if you wanted a super fast one, you can make it lower. Uh, you can tweak this however you like. And then for our case, we're gonna set the repeat count. So image view dot repeat count. And uh, we're gonna set that to one. If you have it at zero or don't set this at all, it's just gonna keep looping forever. So sometimes you may want that in an animation. Sometimes you may only want it to animate once. Sometimes you want it to animate four times. This is where you set that. And then finally, we just start animating. So image view dot start animating. And now our animate function is done. Now we just need to call that when we press the button. So here in the uh, like button tapped is we're just gonna do animate. The image view we're gonna pass in for the like button is the heart image view. And then the images we're gonna pass in are the heart uh, images. All right, so that's good to go. And if you remember, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I like to have basically a simple one, one or two lines of code in my button taps. That way when you read the code, you can come in and look and say, hey, what happens when you tap the like button? Oh, it's just animating the images. You know, it's very readable. You don't have to, you know, read through all this code to figure it out. That's all separated out. So again, a little sidebar, I'm gonna always preach that in my videos, but um, again, animate. Uh, this time we're gonna pass in the Ryu uh, image view for the image view and then uh, Ryu images for the images that it needs to animate through. And that's it, before we run it, I'm gonna do a quick recap. So here on lines 20, 20 to 31, this is the function, the helper function that basically uh, creates our array of all the images we had. Uh, and again, we're calling it up here in view did load to create our array of heart images and Ryu images because this is what the UI image view is going to cycle through to create our animation, which we're actually building here in lines 34 to 39. We're determining what image view we wanna animate. And then we're also passing in the images we want to animate. And then we're just gonna set that image view appropriately and then start animating here. Uh, and then we're gonna call that animate function when the appropriate button is tapped. All right, let's run it and see what we got. All right, so here on the like button, you tap the like button tap and you get the heart animation. And you see it only animates once. Uh, like I said, if you set that repeat count to zero or didn't set it at all, this would just keep cycling. Uh, and then you go ahead and hit oh, you can and you see Ryu go. So that's how you animate a set of images within a UI image view. So now you know how to create subtle animations that'll make your UI a little bit more enjoyable. All right, if you found this at all useful, go and hit subscribe. I put out new videos all the time.